Hello everyone and welcome. Today I'm going to be showing you how to use the periodontal probe. Um, this is a great instrument for assessing periodontal pockets. It is also great for um, measuring clinical attachment loss, recession, uh, the width of the attached gingiva, the size of any type of intraoral lesions that may be present, bleeding on probing, and it is also great for monitoring the longitudinal response of the periodontium to treatment. So now here on my hand, I have uh, the, it's a two-sided probe. I have the PCP12 side on this end, and on the other end, I have the UNC12 probe. Now you can see that both sides have a little bit of different markings on them, but they are both measured in millimeters. Now on this end, on the PCP12 end, you can see that um, the, it is measured in increments of three millimeters uh, per section here. So. Uh, that first line is three millimeters, then six millimeters, nine millimeters, and 12 millimeters. And now on the other end, you can see that it is a little finer, okay? So this one, you can see that the first marking is one millimeter, the second one is two millimeters, three millimeters, and then four millimeters, and then when it covers that a larger darker area it turns into five millimeters then six seven eight nine ten eleven and twelve so they're both measuring about twelve millimeters on each side and uh, let's go on and uh, learn how to use it all right so first before we begin I want to make sure that I am going to be starting from the distal line angle. So you want to start by inserting the probe tip subgingively until you reach that junctional epithelium right at the distal line angle and then gently walk the probe over to that proximal space and then make sure that you slant just very slightly about 10 degrees. Slant the working end of the probe so that the tip extends under that contact area in order to reach the midline of that proximal surface and then gently press down to touch into that junctional epithelium. So now we're going to come out and we're going to reinsert at the distal line angle and walk all the way across the buckle into the contact. Once I reach the contact between the two teeth, I am going to again just slightly slant the probe so that I could get right into that contact and uh, go down to that junctional epithelium. Again, distal line angle, walk, reach the contact, slightly slant the instrument just a little bit, and you can further push it down into the junctional epithelium, making sure you're getting into that coal. and making sure that you are following the, um, the, the route. So you wanna make sure that you are following the, um, the shape, the anatomical structure of the root. Because remember, the roots are conical, so you wanna make sure that you are properly adapting the instrument Walking the probe nice and gentle. And 
and using that digital motion now I'm going to be ready to work on my anterior sextant so now I want to make sure that I first take my uh, distal measurement here so again on the canine we're going to start distal line angle contact slightly slant and then take it out and now I'm ready to reposition it so I can walk my way around the facials all right so now I am ready to work across the facial here again I'm going to insert right on my distal line angle and walk my probe across right to that contact slightly slant the instrument about 10 degrees so I could get into my junctional epithelium following that root structure the anatomy of the root And that is how you use the probe. If you like this video, please click share, like, and subscribe, and uh, stay tuned for more.